Yeah. All right. So, so bas well, hold basically, on. I I, I'm going to start the show and it's recording. So then you can pop on in and we'll. I love doing this. This is live. This is not even live, but it's recorded as people know. You listen the floor to, is yours. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you listen to Dr. Paul Bridges, Bridges Live. And, of course, I like to bring on a, a lot of my guests here, but I like to thank a lot of my sponsors for coming on to Bridges Live. And if you ever want to see the video, because actually this is being video and audio at the same time, so you can probably catch the video on my YouTube channel to see our beautiful faces as we talk and communicate. But introduce yourself to Bridges Live because I hate doing it. It sounds like a corny baseball show. So <laughs> please do that. So I am, my name is Rachel Russell. I am a uh, small town girl out here in Southern Illinois. Uh, I am a stay home mom of six children. Our oldest is 15 and our youngest is four. I have nine um, children. How many? Nine. Oh my goodness. See? <laughs> okay, you, you got me beat. I love it. That's, in, that's inspiring. You're, you're not um, alone. <laughs> that's great. So yeah, I mean, that, that's just basically me, a six figure earner. And I was the girl who came for more months at the end of the money. So that's just a quick rundown about me. So Rachel, besides, you know, I think ultimately is us being parents and sharing our love and life with our kids and our friends and our family. You have, you, you've been doing a business now that it is just exciting to hear about. So let's hear about the business and what you're, and, and how you're helping people. Absolutely. You know, helping people is something I've always loved to do. Um, right. That's why I was in, I, I say I was a culinary specialist, but you know, Doc, I was a waitress. <laughs> uh, I love serving people. And one thing I love about this is that we can help people travel the world. Yes. You know, uh, one thing a lot of people don't know is that when someone takes a trip, when they go on a cruise, when they go to the Holy Land, when they go to um, Aruba or Disney, there's always a commission built into that price. And for me, I started to position myself to earn just an extra $500 on what the world was doing anyways, and that was helping them travel. Um, and then it came around to where we were able to help people around the world have a travel agency. And that has led me into, I, I now coach a team of over 2,200 travel business owners. Wow, 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 right? <laughs> and and this, it's funny because I, you know, not funny, I love to travel. I think I'm more of a nomadic mind and heart, and I've been so many places around this beautiful globe. And I think that's why I like doing what I'm doing when it comes to, like, emotional education is because people mm -hmm. are, are such attached to the things they have learned or they're trying to unlearn. So tell us about the travel industry and how it, it's possible for them to position themselves besides they're going to reach out to you. I know that's hopeful for them, for you to educate them a little bit more in depth, but just give the overall view. So basically we found we are the originating home-based travel agency. That was so important to me when I found this four years ago. Um, you know, where does the reputation, where does the accreditation fit in? And uh, with our company, we're the originators. We actually sit in the top 30 travel agencies out of the world with CLIA, which is the Cruise Line International Association. Okay. Uh, that was really, really big to me. One thing I loved about this is we were positioned to have a $100,000 marketing budget for business owners. So all of our brochures for places like Aruba, Disney, those are all free, shipped to you for free as well. Um we were able to get specialized in anything we wanted. I wanted to be a graduate of the Disney College of Knowledge. Okay. But I also wanted to be specialized in some cruise lines, Norwegian, Carnival Cruise, One Source, which is Princess. And uh, that was included as well to be able to get specialized in those different places as well. You know, um, you know, some like I, I'm thinking of myself. I'm going, Rachel, I, I personally have never used a travel agent. <laughs> Am I, I am I missing something? And, you know, I, I wonder that, too. When I started four years ago, I thought, you know, I've never really used a travel agent before because a lot of us, if we do we think we, do, we want to do it on our own. Um, but, you know, one thing about this is travel agents have made an 80% comeback. Mm. Um, and it's because, you know, when you get on XYZ.com, right. uh, you know, a lot of my clients agree, Rachel, I need your help. I, you know, Jewel, help me because they've been looking online for hours, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, and they're overwhelmed. And, you know, this sweet little man went to book his trip for Birmingham, Alabama, and he ended up in the Birmingham United Kingdom. 
So for us, <laughs> travel agents bring <laughs> advice. We're more than a price. Right, right. I it, it so now that people know that so I guess now what's the benefit for someone, others, many to use a travel agent and not to try to do it by themselves without knowing that they're going to Birmingham, England and not Birmingham, Alabama. What was the question you cut out? I'm sorry about that. What, what was some of the um, um, benefits for a person who who knows how to travel that it's good for them to use a travel agency or to get into the business to help them now use a part of the business that is easier for them? Yeah, absolutely. And that's a great question because they're already doing it anyways. So we have a lot of people who are traveling anyways to earn the commission back on their own travel. Um, you know, if you're taking a cruise and uh, let's say you're going with Norwegian Cruise Line, that commission could look like $330. Right. Um, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, I, Jewel can help book the travel, right? And she can earn the $300 that's already there. Or, hey, you know what, Doc, you're going. It makes sense to make an investment. And that's going to allow you to travel for less because you're earning the commission back on your own travel instead of letting that go back to the cruise line's pocket. Anyway. Another thing, too, yeah, and our services are free because we're earning the commission that's already there. A lot of people love that. You know, when you think of a traditional travel agent or a traditional travel agency, we know that when we go to book that cruise or that Disney trip, um, you know, when it's all said and done, we're paying extra. We're paying extra for that travel agency light, their electric, the, the actual per hour for that travel agent. And it's not like that here. We're just simply earning the commission and helping people travel the world. And um, we're giving advice, not just the price. And we also I like that. I like that. Arrangement. So we, yeah. it looks like we have someone who joined us. Who might this be? Welcome to Bridges Live. Are you just, Hi, are you just an innocent Jewel. bystander? <laughs> I've I've been here for some time. I had a little technical difficulty, but I'm I'm here and I'm present. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about yourself as you join on in. Sure. So my name is Joel McQueen. Yeah. Uh, I've joined Intella Travel uh, since August of last year. Um, I previously worked in finance. And I found that uh, my goals, belief system, corporate values right. all aligned with this corporation. And so I am honored to be part of, of the group. Great. You know, I just want to welcome everyone to Bridges Live. We're, we're talking to Miss Rachel and Miss Jewel. And we're talking about the travel industry. And I'm telling you, when I reached out to Miss Jewel to say, I want to give this conversation and bring this to the people of Bridges Live Two things, three things I like to do in Bridges Live, and that's have information, understanding, and action. And it's not just almost just social issues, or but mm -hmm. it's it's all issues, it's, it's all things. And I'm telling you, I am just sitting back and I'm like taking my little notes here. And I hope you get to do the same if when you're listening to this podcast, you watch this brief cut because information I didn't know, like how helpful the industry can be and how lucrative the business can be. So let's hear more mm -hmm. about their business because I think people need more independence on their earnings. Don't you guys agree? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I'm a firm believer two jobs are for two people. And sometimes <laughs> we need that leveraged income, that residual income to change our life. You know, for me, I was just looking for $500. $500 created a six-figure income. Um, and I love what you just said, you know, information is important because for me, I understand information changes situation. Yes. Yep. Yep. And how, what's, what's, a, what's, how would someone, because I don't want to give away all the, you know, the secrets here on, you know, Bridges mm -hmm. Live because I, you know, we want people to be more informed, but hey, you know, you need to contact Jewel or Rachel to find out what's really going on. But what's, what's, how does someone get into it? They got to make a decision. Yes. Uh, make wow. a decision that you want to be a part of the originating company. When I looked at this four years ago, I wasn't trying to be a part of anything. Okay. Right? Right. I wanted reputation. I wanted accreditation. I wanted exclusive partnership with all the travel brands, the Disney, the Go-Go, the Funjet, the Royal Caribbean, all the things. 
Um, but it starts with a decision. And, you know, when I looked back four mm-hmm. years ago, I didn't have $200 to make my one-time investment. I didn't have $200. But you know what I did have? I had things hanging on my wall. I had clothes that was not feeding my family. And I actually sold them in a for sale Facebook group. And I made the investment and I never looked back. So mm-hmm. what does it take? It takes making a decision. It takes an investment of one time, one ninety nine ninety, where you're backed by three guarantees. Uh, the first guarantee is the best travel price guarantee. The second guarantee is in place for uh, the individual, the business owner, and that's a 30-day money-back guarantee. But here's what got me. This is where I knew there were no risks in this industry. There were only guarantees, and that was the 12-month, 100% risk-free profit guarantee, which guaranteed me, it guaranteed Joel, and it guarantees anybody that sees this that within 12 months, if you don't make or you don't save on your own travel, which you invested into your business, the company cuts you a check and makes you whole again. So, you know, and, and, and I love when you said everything we have to do, we have to make a decision. And I think it bounces back, Rachel, what you said about if you don't have the information, I don't know how anyone can make a a decision now that people uh-huh. have the information and the possibility because we all have possibilities right jewel i mean you've had possibilities mm-hmm. tell us about how you started and then let's go also from there jewel so uh similar to rachel when i started six months ago i did not have the initial investment as a matter of fact i recall uh the individual that brought me in uh miss tiffany harris um reviewing the information with me and I repeatedly advised her, you know what, I don't know if this is going to work because I don't have the investment. Right, right. And um, I recall Tiffany Harris connecting me with um, the lovely uh, Rachel Russell and one of the things that uh, it stuck with me was her mentioning to me, well, how long do you want to have that problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how long, you know, that's so funny. How long do you want to have that problem? How long, yes, do you, absolutely. How, how long do you want to have that problem? And mm-hmm. now that you have the information, when are you going to make a decision? You know, it's so paramount because, you know, I, 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 I can hear and I can, you know, interviewing people for all kinds of reasons and sometimes when people send me links about things they have i've said or heard on the show and i can hear someone saying well it sounds like a pyramid scheme and i just and and i tell you what that just makes me want to throw up when people think like what what part of your life do you think someone's not making money off the backs of you Exactly. Michael Jackson is still making money and he's long gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With digital income, you know what I mean? People are scared of it because they're uneducated. That's why information changes situation. Everything changes everything so now now they make the investment they're they, I, i'm sure i hope we all hope they're going to get backing by mentors and sponsorships and so how does that work is that for joel or me either one you can both answer how it helps you both that'd be nice joel, take it away joel Okay, I, I, I wasn't quite clear with the question. So, what, so once you make the investment, now you have mentors and backing, right? So how does that yes. work? Okay, so one of the, the greatest things that I must say about this organization is that the support is endless. I mean, okay. because we all rise together, essentially, um, mm-hmm. we all invest 100% in each other's business. And that's that's phenomenal coming from a background where it was every man for themselves and yeah. you were constantly um, with your back against the wall not knowing who was coming for your title who's coming for your position <laughs> this is a totally different culture and um, it took me a little while to kind of I guess ease into the groove but um, you, you, in terms of mentorship it's there daily the trainings are there daily daily so it's ju- just so Jewel I don't want to skip over this real quick because I think when people hear something like this when you say you had your own apprehension because others have apprehensions even if after they have the information and they made a decision what Mm -hmm. was some of those things that got you over the apprehension I'm not going to talk about what it was what got you over it I think for me it was the guarantee 
Okay. Um, once I made this investment with, with what I'm handing over, I needed to know that I had nothing to lose. It okay. was risk-free. And that's what got me over that initial hurdle of, okay, so worst case scenario, you've given me the tools to learn how to be an entrepreneur mm-hmm. without any risk. Right. 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 And, and Rachel, and Rachel, so what was some of the things that you help people get over apprehension besides just guarantee? Comfort yeah. to know that you may be in business for yourself, but you will never be by yourself. I, when I started this organization four years ago, see, I only came to book travel. I was trying to help myself. I understood I had to help myself before I could help somebody. Right. Um, and I, I made that promise when I started building this organization four years ago that exactly what I said. When we say you may be in business for yourself, you are. But when we say you're never by yourself, you're not. And that's where I work very, very close with my leadership team. You know, Joel Sponsor is one of my phenomenal business partners, Miss Tiffany Harris. She actually started that business from her hospital bed after her third hip surgery. And my, I'm hungry. I was hungry for my goals, but now, I, you know, I'm hungry for a Tiffany Harris goal, for a Joel McQueen goal. Yes. We're hungry for anybody's goals that partners with us. And it's our responsibility to be there for that support, you know, and that leadership and to, um, we have an amazing culture uh, in the community that we're building. But also for me, it's very important to help that people secure the legacy, which states that um, when they pass yeah. away, this business is willable upon their death because I, I, I don't take anybody um, success lightly. And I understand that the graveyard is the richest place in the world. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I am, I am ripping everything you say, uh, Miss Rachel, I'm keeping it. I'm going to use it again <laughs> because you know, so, so many of us have you know, some of those key words is apprehension. They don't feel comfortable. And that has everything to do with all relationships relationships with themselves, relationships with a partner, relationships mm-hmm. with a community, relationships, relationships. They, they are afraid, that fear thing, which which I can get in, I love teaching about how to get rid of fear, but it's that fear base that keeps us from moving forward even after we have good information, understanding, mm-hmm. and that goes to my third part, action. You have to take action. Once you have those two, information, understanding, What's what's keeping you from the action? Uh, and that action thing is blocked off by fear. And you guys have solved that problem because we need to be independent. I, I thoroughly believe in independency. I thoroughly mm-hmm. believe in earning your own worth, right? Because no one can value yourself much as you value yourself. Don't you guys agree? Absolutely. So now, now, how can people reach you if they want to get into business and how do they start and, and what's the process besides calling me and saying, what was Jules' name and what was Rachel's name? Because I want to put it to the website and put it to the podcast. But as they're hearing it, how do they, how, how do they contact you? Jules, would you like me to take that one? Get away, sure. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so um, they can definitely reach out to me. Um, my telephone number is 917-628-1053, um, and I can provide them with any additional information to uh, link up with the organization. Okay, and is so the, you want a phone call more than you would want someone to call you, I mean, um, like hit on a link or something like that, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, once they call me, I can explain to them what I'm forwarding and how to proceed just to make sure that they're clear with the process. Okay. So now let's talk about the fun stuff. Let's talk about the last trip you were so excited to go on that you went on. Do you want me to go, Joel? Or- you can- <laughs> Your turn. Oh, my goodness. I have traveled more in my life than I ever have because I was a little girl. We were We couldn't afford to travel. I'm in Illinois, so we get to go to northern Illinois to southern Illinois. Um, so for me, I've traveled more in my life than I ever have. This year alone, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm already thinking. Of two, in 2019 alone, I was in Vegas three times. Um, I was in the Bahamas, Cosmel, Mexico, uh, my second home, Atlanta. I've been in Maryland. I've been in New York. Um, but my last favorite 
My last trip I went on, it was New York. That was on my bucket list. For a lot of people, that's a little trip. But for me, that was a big trip to get to go to Times Square. I know, I know. Go eat, you know, New York pizza. And, and we were able to go. Uh, we took a 7 a.m. private ice skating um, on at Rockefeller on the, on the skating rink. And uh, we took the um, Spirit of New York lunch cruise and just enjoyed life. Yeah. You know? And we were out there just living our best life in New York. And for me, that was on my bucket list, but for me, that was my last exciting trip that I was able to go on. I like that. Living your best life and, and um, uh, coming from a lot of the things I've done, um, being in the military and things I've done like that, I've seen a lot of death in a lot of countries and a lot of places. I've seen a lot of people lose their lives because they were afraid and it cost them their lives. I teach a lot of I teach a lot of emergency management training for people to l learn how to live and not survive. So when you say this could help you live your best life, I don't see how that cannot resonate. I mean, just totally shake someone out of their seat and like, you know what? But damn it, I want to do the same thing. I want to live, live my best life. You know, I'm, I'm sick of struggling every day for something I'm getting nothing out of. Mm, that's so profound, you know, and that's who I was. People see the Rachel Russell now. Four years, you know, four years later, here I am. But four years ago, I was at rock bottom. You know, six years ago, I lost my dad. He was sitting at a stoplight. On he was at a red light. He was ejected 125 feet from his Harley, and he we lost him. He was only seven. 49. We lost him seven days later with severe brain hemorrhaging. And that's when I hit rock bottom, Doc. You know what I mean? I hit rock bottom. And um, I was trying to figure out, you know, here I am. I'm at rock bottom. I lost the, the man of my life, and that was my dad. Right. Um, it right. was so traumatic, and it was so hard for me. And then that day that I woke up four years ago, I thought, you know what? That's it. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of being depressed. I'm sick and tired of being um, more month at the end of the month, honey, right. done with that. Yeah. I'm, I'm tired of not getting to travel the world, uh, tired of the residual bills coming in and not being able to pay for them. And I just bossed up. Joel just bossed up. We just made a decision one day. We were sick and tired of being sick and tired. And that's why I always ask, how long do you want to have that problem for? Right. right? Right. Because we know the richest place in the world is graveyards. I'm telling you, it I'm is. keeping it. I'm keeping it. It is. Take it. Take it. It's so true. So Jewel, it's so true, and that's when I realized that. So, Jewel, what made you decide to just be so sick and tired, sick and tired? Was it the same thing you said before, like being being afraid of, you know, who's going to come after your position and, and all that stuff? Was it, was it those, or was there, like, another family altering thing? Yes, it was it was a combination of events. So, um it was it was the career just uh, spiraling kind of nowhere. Um years of stagnation and mm -hmm. just wondering when can I get some time freedom, you know, because I have three children and um Rachel knows what I mean. She has six. I have nine. <laughs> You missed oh, that. Oh, God, he's got us blown out yeah, of water. He's got us all beat. So, I mean, <laughs> I, you guys, I'm speaking, you know, to the crowd here when I tell you guys trying to make these events and, and mm -hmm. support them in ways and then still have time to travel with them just it wasn't there it right. wasn't on my calendar um, by the end of the, the year and so um, with that compounding with the 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 issue of uh, I was also dealing with uh, separating from my husband okay. at the time mm -hmm. and um, for me that was where I, I felt like I was hitting rock bottom because I, I just wasn't happy with my career. I wasn't happy with my relationship. And now I have these three beautiful children that I have to um, and Rachel were up and figure out how am I going to get through this time and have quality time with them while supporting them. You know, and um, that that's where I found uh, my entrance way in in with Rachel and uh, Miss Harris. One of the thing um, we're gonna wrap this up, and I'm glad I'm so thankful for. And I, like I was telling you, Joel, I'm I'm more excited about. We live our lives a lot through testimonies, and we hear we we we, we hear something that says, "Man, that's me." That sounds just like me. That sounds like who I 
am or what who I am now, but they're not talking about they're talking about it was then and now they've changed their lives. So that's important and when we go through traumatic end of things, we are in mourning and we have to say to ourselves, I have to live a new normal. I cannot live what, what, what it was. I have to make a decision, right? Miss Rachel, I have to make mm-hmm. a decision. And then now I have to learn how to live a new normal. Most people think about mourning as something they've lost. Losing a husband. Mm-hmm. Losing a father. We have mm-hmm. lost a lot of ourselves. And, and, mm-hmm. and it doesn't have to be a husband or a father. It could be loss of oneself. Like, I don't, mm-hmm. like, who was I? Who am I? And the only way to regain that back is to decide, make a decision to that I'm going to live a new normal. And then after you've made that decision, now you gather the information, you get the understanding, and then you put your ass in action. Because who wants to remain the same thing over and over again? It's, you know. So thank you so much, ladies. Anything you guys want to tell us before we head on out, take off from Bridges Live and I close it down? No. Thank you so much for having us on. Wow, it has been such an honor. Um, I just remember when the day came for me and I was ready to make a decision. I was ready to change. And I understood that in order for things to change, I had to change. In order for things to be different, I had to make the decision. And, you know, everything we do in life, there's going to be a process to it, right? Nothing's easy. There's a process and we're going to grow through what we go through. And and I just tell everybody, whatever it is you're going through in your life, embrace the process. Just embrace it and Mm -hmm. love on it and be okay with the changes and be open to get out of the comfort zone. But whatever you do, do not let the process come you out of your promise. Thank you so much for having us on today. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I, I, I look forward to having more of a communication with you. And you can always call me and be, and I don't want you guys to hang up, but I'm going to let you guys go to Bridges Live. Thank you everyone for listening to Bridges Live. This is Dr. Paul. You can always listen to iHeart and iTunes Radio. You can always contact me on drpaulholisticscience.com. Please thank you for all your comments and your your responses and how what type of shows you'd like to come on. And if you have any more questions that you didn't get Miss Jewel's name or Miss Rachel's name, um, contact me back. And I uh, wish you all good luck, God bless, and, and make a decision and get informed and understand. Thank you.